The hydrothermal vents, the first thing we did when we had the vehicle on the seafloor is we wanted to measure the temperature of the fluid as it's coming out of the vent. The first time we tried it, the pilots extend the thermal probe so far with the arm of the vehicle, but they couldn't quite get it into the vent because they didn't want to get any closer with the vehicle. Things in hot water, especially electrical cords, don't last too long. And on the next dive, they took a, a broom handle and you know, they put it on the temperature sensor on one end of the broom handle and the other end was held in the manipulator arm. And now they could get six feet further and they actually got it into the vent and measured the temperature. You know, it's 300 degrees coming out, but inside it was 350, 400 degrees. When they pulled it out, and it had only been in there a minute or two, the end of the broom handle was black. Well, that's odd. When we looked at the broom handle, it was charred as if that broom handle had been in a fire. What goes on in hydrothermal vents is not a good place for organic compounds, but carbohydrates, no, they don't last. Amino acids, they're gone. How about nucleotides? <laughs> Never have a chance. <laughs>